termly reports are created on the system by taking child's data from their progress section and displaying a report between a date range that you select. On the termly report overview page to create a termly report for a child simply click on the plus icon to create a new report. On the create termly report page for the child enter the title for your report at the top of the page. Now you must select the start and end date for your report. In this example we have selected 1st of January 2017 to the 31st of May 2018. When we generate our report the system will now pull in everything from a child's progress between the dates selected. Click on the generate report button and the system will now tell you that your termly report has been generated and is shown below. For now, we're going to ignore the complete and completed by section and scroll down and take a look. For each area and learning and aspect within the EYFS, we will now be able to see all the achievements and observations and next steps for our selected child. Here we can see for communication and language, for listening and attention, we have a number of achieved outcomes, shown here with the date, the name of the administrator who marked them as achieved, and the actual early years outcome. To the right of this we can see a camera icon. Clicking on this will pop up the photos that were assigned to this early years outcome. As stated previously all the achievement dates, observations, parent observations, starting point baselines, next steps or parent added next steps will be displayed within the termly report. Only those achievements within your date range will display. If we continue to scroll down, you will see that the termly report is broken down by age range, 8 to 20 months, 16 to 26 months and so on. You will see each aspect and the age range within each aspect and all of the achievements. Scrolling down further, you will see we now arrive at the next area of learning, expressive arts and design. Again, this is broken down with the aspects and the achievements within the date range selected. The entire EYFS is displayed with our achievements between our date range. You cannot actually make changes to the items within the termly report if you want to add achievements or next steps or observations to the outcome you would have to do this directly within the progress section. The termly report simply pulls in data from the progress section to create the report. If we now scroll back up to the top of the page, if you are happy with your report and you want to mark it as complete, click on the red X and change it to a green tick. We must now select the name of the administrator who completed the report. Select the date that the report was completed. When you complete the report, the report can be visible to the parents if you have given access to the termly report section to the parent. If you want the parent to provide feedback on the report, select the Harry's Parents option for the feedback section. You will now see that this box is now greyed out and the administrator cannot leave feedback. The parents will now be responsible for leaving feedback. If you do not want to get feedback from the parents, select the administrator option and enter the feedback in this box below that you may have received from the parent. If you do not need or have feedback for the parent, you can simply enter not applicable. Within the what are the next steps for Harry, you can basically look at how you're going to proceed with Harry's development. Again, this can be left as not applicable if you do not want to fill this section. Once you are happy with your report, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the save button. You will now see on the Termly Report Overview page that the last report for Harry was on the 29th of May 2018. Clicking on the down arrow will show all the reports that have been created for the child. Clicking on the Manage icon will allow you to edit, view, print the entire report or print a specific area of learning for your Termly Report.